Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel which is Best Notes Tutorials. I hope you all are going through our old videos for revision because without revision you will not be able to exercise the benefit of the topics that we have already done. Okay, so today the topic that I have chosen is very important and it's very crucial for spoken English because people get confused in singular and plural nouns okay and then they have problem in singular and plural verb as well therefore I have chosen the topic subject verb agreement so in this lesson we are going to understand with singular verb what should be the subject okay and with plural subject what should be the verb okay whether it is singular and plural so we are going to explain we are going to discuss in detail okay so please be with us and be patient you will understand and we will give you exercise in between which you have to solve and do the assessment of yourselves okay so let's begin with the class so here you all can see subject verb agreement okay it means when the subject is singular we use singular verb and when it is opposite that is when the subject is plural we use plural verb now the problem lies in understanding what is singular subject and what is singular verb how to distinguish between these two okay so here i have written the rule singular subject singular verb and plural subject plural verb example you can see out here he is a boy he is singular subject okay therefore we have chosen is and is is singular verb okay let's see out here roshni and sanjeevni are friends here subject one is roshni subject two is sanjeevni okay so when something is added with and we use are okay so by this example to some extent the topic might have been clear to you all let's move to the next slide and understand it more friends see the items which are shown out here scissors binoculars headphones okay let's discuss these three items at present so when i am saying scissors it's not singular okay because even if it is one we must say scissors okay because it has two parts okay it has two parts which is attached with small thing okay now let's see binocular it has two parts binocular has two parts with which we see the things which are at the distance okay next headphones even headphones has two parts okay which we put in our two different ears so even though these items are one okay we must say these are plural so whenever we use these words we will use plural verbs as well okay let me tell you some examples my scissors are my scissors are very sharp okay my scissors are very sharp even if i am having one in my hand i will say my scissors are okay if i have binocular in my hand then i'll say my binocular my binoculars i will say my binoculars are very powerful okay my binoculars are very powerful same goes with headphones as well my headphones are damaged i will buy a new one my headphones are damaged i will buy a new one okay so what i want to tell you is that these items are plural even if it is one in quantity okay let's move to some 
items which are related to dress. Let's see a few more items. Here are jeans, then shorts, pajamas, and pants. All these are plural subject. Okay, plural items. It is because these all four have two parts. Jeans will have two parts. Okay, where we put our legs, then shorts as well, pajamas as well, and pants as well. So here we need to use plural verb that is are. My jeans are torn. My shorts are dirty. My pajamas are new. Okay. My pants are getting loose. So these are the things that you need to remember. Let's move to some other things like likewise when we are calling some group Okay, some sports group or some musical band group. When there is a team, when there is a crowd, at that time also we use plural verb and that is are. The Indians are. Okay, the Beatles are. The Euphorians are. Okay, so this is how you, you have to use verb. So here the word is glasses, stairs and fireworks. All these are plural noun and therefore they use plural verb as well. Okay, the glasses are beautiful. Then the stairs are wide. The fireworks are strong. Okay, so in this way you have to understand. And understand until we are clear with the singular and plural thing. We will not be able to use subject and verb with an agreement. Okay, it will be having some mismatch somewhere or the other. Therefore, we need to understand this topic very well. Let's move to another slide. See the example out here. This pair of jeans is too tight. And next sentence is, these jeans are too tight. See here, when we are referring to one jeans then we have to use r because it has two parts okay it has two parts i told you that two parts are the places where we use our both the legs okay now see when we are talking about a pair of jeans then it has to have a singular verb that is is this pair of jeans is too tight Okay, this pair of jeans is too tight. So here we are talking about pair of something. At that time they use singular verb. Okay, but when we are talking generally these jeans are too tight. At that time R will be right verb. Friends, one more thing you need to keep in mind is that when we are giving a name when we are giving a name to the sports team, at that time we have to use R. Okay, as I have given you all example of our Indian team. The Indians are, okay, the Australians are. But when we are using just team, then we say the team is, okay, the team is. The same thing goes with battles as well. The battles, because we are naming the musical band all right when we don't use the name then the band is the band is performing at so and so place okay see the example out here this pair of jeans is too tight here when we are using the item collectively at that time we have to use singular verb and when we have just the item okay which has two parts just like scissors binoculars etc at that time we use R. we need to keep in mind okay this one now we are talking about pair collectively therefore is is prevalent and not R. whereas in general term jeans has two parts so we use R. Okay. 
in the same way we say a pair of jeans a pair of shorts a pair of pajamas a pair of pants etc okay i hope this point is clear to everyone so friends so far we have learnt that singular verb requires singular subject and plural verb requires plural subject okay so here we have few of the rules okay the rules that we need to follow while making sub while making subject verb agreement okay see two subjects which has and with it should have a plural verb example is sita and geeta are intimate friends two subjects are sita and geeta and is here in between and then we should use plural verb okay and then the rest of the information so here we have sita and geeta sita and geeta are intimate friends okay next point the words which ends with s especially subjects disciplines okay it's not necessary that these are plural these are singular see first example is mathematics next economics third one is physics and fourth one is the news okay so even if they have s at the last we have to use a singular verb with them because these are not plural but these are subjects friends there are more rules and regulations for subject verb agreement and uh, while using plural and singular subject as well so that we are going to do in our next video so till then we meet please go through subject verb agreement part 1 and let me know if any problem arises till then thank you everyone